Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mac Chan. I just wanted to let y'all know that um, I do apologize about the long overdue wait. I did not notice that this that it had been cut off short. Uh, I thought it allowed me to do the whole 15 minutes. I put the whole video in 15 minutes, the whole the whole application. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off for you guys today. And like I said, I do apologize. Bear with me, and we'll get this done. All right. So we're moving on. <clears throat> and now we're getting to, we already got our, our app built, correct? So progress bar, our two labels, our two buttons in our list box. And we also have our file folder browser dialog one. So we're going to go back over to our code. Now we're going to the second button, which is scan. So we won't scan button. So double click on the scan button. It'll open it up. It'll go ahead and give you what you need. And we'll start off by adding string search equals directory dot get files folder dialog one dot select path That has to be a lot better. <laughs> Make sure that you add in using system IO. Solve that problem. We drop down. Now we need to define a string read equals stream reader or read till n. Oh no. Hold on, guys. We're jumping ahead of ourselves here. So this is going to be our progress bar. Maximum. Equals. Search. Dot length. For each string, STIN virus, drop down. If, and this is where it left off, and I do apologize, it's where they cut me off short, so we'll go ahead and get this in there for you, right, guys. <clears throat> Regex is match. Using system text regular expressions show potential fixes. No, we have viruses. For each if. Wow, guys. I'm totally off my game today. I do apologize. I should not be having such an issue, but I do. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> For each string item. Make sure we get this right. His item will be defined and it's going to call to it. And you're going to need it. We're going to drop down. We're going to do try. Stream reader equals stream or new equals new stream reader.
stream read equals stream dot read to end haha -ha. what a culprit then we're going to go for string this is where we will define the viruses we will define by the names of the certain things that we know can be used or will be used in files pictures emails texts apps that will define the certain virus that you're looking for for per se trojan hacker virus malware adware hacking freeware rat whatever you could think of this a potential threat would you want to make sure you define that in this string here because this is everything that this program revolves around. This one string. Don't forget that. All right, so we'll do like, I already got a little pre-list set here. So I'm just going to grab it and drop it. These are the most common, I guess you could say. So you can see Trojan, Virus, Malware, Edware, Hacking, Hacker, Freeware, Rat. There's more than these few that I've defined, but this is just a simple program. So we're going to move forward from there. So now that we have those defined, you know, let's get this out of the way first. That's actually taking up some room. All right, try. We're going to drop down and we're going to do our next for each, but this for each will be defined differently. This is where I always get confused because I'm trying to define more than one at one time. All right, make sure you get that right. Drop down, add another one in for each. Now, this is where the where I left off the regex. I do apologize about that. So it's if. regex dot is a match read comma string open that up so we can define it now so it'll be a message box you don't have to do this you can clearly do a label because a message box will have to okay and you got to go through the whole clicking that crap just to be able to get back to but I'm going to do it just for you know gets and shiggles you know what I mean so virus alert simple simply defined now viruses plus equals one and we're going to go for a label this will go to label one Text. So it'll show on your application instead of producing a message box. It'll just have the message box, which you can clearly get rid of. You don't have to have it popping up saying every freaking time it finds one. Hey, we got a virus. You can just do whatever suits you. Plus viruses to string. Got it. Now we want it to go to the list box as well. List box one dot items dot add. And then we're going to call to it. So where we defined our item in the top for each here, we're going to call for item here. So it'll complete that cycle. Boom. <clears throat> okay. Now we also want this to go to our progress bar as well. Don't forget that, guys. That's you know a cool factor that you're adding in here. As you go along, you'll learn more. You'll learn how to use graphs, so on, you know, stuff like that. This is not finished. As you can see, there's an error here because clearly we expected a catch or a finally so we're going to add in a catch so we're going to go down up under our progress to and define catch and 
and this is here we'll just take this off basically you're just grabbing all of this stuff here again So grab from here, grab that, and right up under this, drop the same thing again. A lot of copy and paste, man. It saves you a lot of time, does you a lot of justice. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what happens. Usually, any application that you use that reaches from your PC, there we go, that reaches from your PC to another. Come on. <laughs> All right, problem solved. Build. Usually any application that you use that's from an outside source connects through a tunnel to another PC or another group of servers via the internet. So on that note, those applications will be defined and declared a virus. So simply all you have to really do is select your folder. I'm going to go to a USB drive. And I'm going to do the CPU.Z. This is a, it, it, any nerd worth their salt knows what this is and how to use it. So I'm going to check this folder. Now you see your scan button popped up. We're going to wait. Ooh, virus detected. Ooh, it says that, ooh. Both of these applications will reach out and tunnel to another outside source. So it will be defined as a virus. Got it? Good. There's the completion of the C-sharp win form. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Make sure you sub and like. Sorry about that. Totally forgot I'm working on more than one monitor. All right, so any nerd worth their salt knows what CPU.Z is and they use it regularly if you have anything to do with IT and cybersecurity. All right, so we can it. By the detected, you see that it's going to call for both CPU application.xex file so as you see it's good to go it works thank you um leave your comments on the like